All right, this is my fourth take for this damn video. I don't know what's going on. Every single one's been 15 minutes long. It keeps deleted every time. I can't find it, I can't open the file. So I'm gonna try to run through it, maybe five, 10 minutes. Maybe that's probably the problem. I'm blabbering on too much. But anyways, welcome back, PETA family. Um, thank you for um, you know staying strong and continuing support for PETA. And I wanna just run through some things for you guys so that you're aware, of, I mean, so you're understanding of what's happening for quarter one of 2022. All right, stretch out a little bit. Super Bowl special, two for 560 starting this week. Uh, I mean, not starting this week, this Sunday. It's going to be our Super Bowl 56 special, two for 560 euro only, okay? No sides, no online orders, and no delivery platforms, okay? You are only allowed to do this if you come in and if you call in. So dine in and pick up or take out. That's all that's available, five orders per customer, nothing crazy, okay? So some of you guys, remember, we're only doing this to combat the pizza and the chicken wings that everybody wants to order. So don't think it's going to be a mad house of people trying to get it. We're just trying to be a part of the system that day, okay? Everybody should have gotten a free case of, of your meat to combat this. By now, everybody should have had that free case. We started shipping last week, so you're good to go on that. Um, next thing, Falafel Tuesday and Rice Bowl Thursday. Special are in play, guys. Please, 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 please understand that this is mandatory. We are going to do this company-wide. Um, falafels are super, super cheap for you guys in terms of food cost. Rice bowls come with no sides. So, again, that's the cost aspect of it. It's really nice. So, please, don't, don't fight back on this. This is mandatory. We're doing it company-wide. We want to make sure everybody's involved in this. And we're just, we're just trying to ramp up a little bit of movement inside the store, okay? All right, hot topic for everybody, Toast POS systems. You need to sign these agreements, guys. Again, a mandatory change that we're doing company-wide to help us all. We are doing this together as a team, okay? We're doing this for you and for us so that we have a better platform, better platform to grow with, better platform to launch our new marketing strategy, which is Launchbox with. Um, I really need you guys to hop on, hop on this agreement and do it. Everybody is concerned about the merchant part of it. Guys, listen. I, I've done I've done calculations for you guys. I've made the adjustments. I've sent it out to some franchisees who are saying, oh, I'm paying a lot less. I'm not going to pay for this. Well, guess what? I did it based on our corporate stores. We did it for Peter Noonan, for Peter Peace Your City. We compared Clover and we compared Toast. And when I compared the two, we're saving money on a monthly basis with Toast. So why would you not do it? Everything we're doing here is to help us as a company out. Okay, we're trying to help you guys out. We want to get better. We want to we want to help you know increase in terms of increase our revenues, increase our flow, increase our traffic. This is the way we do it. We we grow from a technology standpoint. So please sign the agreement so we can secure the product so we can launch prior to the end of March. Okay, I beg you guys to do this, please. All right, moving on. U.S. Foods order guides. Everybody knows that we've been moving our product over to U.S. Foods. So the new the order guide is going to be attached in, in the email below. Be on the lookout for that. Start and use that starting next week. We have been moved to a national account in terms of U.S. food. So Greg and John are no longer our contacts. We have to use Brian and Jennifer. They're our national accounts uh, representative now. I will add their information below as well. Let me look, put that in. Um, email. Brian and Jennifer. They're really important. So this will help us with, with all the issues that we were having in terms of product. Hopefully this will... Bring us up on the food chain in, in U.S. food so that we're able to secure a lot more product and we run out of no more, you know, running out of products and subbing products for things that are either more expensive or not product that we used. So um, hooray to that. Next, we're going to move on to mystery shops. This was something that was shelved due to the pandemic. We were, we were working on it pre-pandemic. Um, obviously, we're, you know, it's time. It's time to bring it back out, you know. I want to start bringing in a little bit more consistency company wide. I want to see what you guys are doing from a corp, from a store perspective. Your employees, your storefronts, your back of house, your food, your quality, your consistency. Are you are you creating the product the way it's supposed to be created? So this this mystery shop just be on the lookout. It could happen once or twice a month. Um, again, something that corporate's paying for, you don't have to pay for, um, but it will be. Uh, it will be part of uh, a platform where you guys see your rankings and everything. So you'll see what's going on at every single location. And we'll be able to track it and make adjustments as needed. 
Um, moving on, we're going to do a Zoom call uh, meetings from that one. I just want to set it up to where you guys want to do it on a monthly or a weekly basis. I mean, a monthly or a quarterly basis. Um, let me know via email what you guys want to do. I'm open to either or so that we can, you know, talk about things, discuss things. Not that everybody really calls me and texts me about everything, but I'm open to do it as a company in, in a Zoom call. Just let us know if you guys want to do it monthly or quarterly. And if we set it up um, as an open discussion or just a closed discussion for me to kind of communicate with you guys on that. And you guys can type in your answers. Um, exciting news. The new LTO is going to be a steak kebab. So steak kebabs are in play, everybody. When the skip pasta and the soup is out at the end of March, April 4th, the new product comes in, which is the steak kebabs. It'll come on a skewer. We'll do it with like a little purple onion, maybe a red tomato. I'm doing pictures on Monday for you guys, so I'll be able to share that with the group, what the new product is. Food costs, I'm shooting for 30% or less for the food product, food paper chemicals. If I'm able to achieve that, the margins for you guys at a $14.95 price point is going to be amazing. You're going to increase your ticket, your average ticket price, and you're going to increase your margins. And that's what I'm shooting for. It is going to be a sirloin steak. So the cut of meat is really nice. Um, again, all we'll do is season it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to season it, serve it on a bed of rice, serve it with a side and some pita bread. $14.95. We'll have all the marketing materials, the banners, the table tents, the, the, the rotating banners, um, the window clings. We'll have all that for you guys hopefully be, before the month, is en month end of March. So we're going to be ahead of the game for once and, and really jump on this and um be ready for you guys to launch it might come from the commissary though because i want us to eliminate any extra added charges if we have u.s foods bringing it in so just be on the lookout we might we might push that product in through the commissary instead of u.s foods and if 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 they don't increase the price on us then we'll go through U.S. foods but again that will be something to be discussed down the road I am going to link the quarter three, quarter four numbers for you guys in the email so that you know what's going on company-wide, who's doing what, where, and when, uh, as we do quarterly basis. Um, if you haven't done the ERTC from our previous videos, you better do it. I mean, you're foolish if you haven't done it. We've only received one check, but I think there's many more in the pipeline for us to come uh, from our stores, so just be patient. It's going to come. It will be processed, um, but, but honestly, it's money you've already paid out. Why would you not ask request for it back? It's a simple, um, you know, amendment that that takes a little bit of time for you guys to process and you get you get it back. So um, next thing is food costs. Guys, everybody knows what's going on in the, in the industry. Supply chain issues, um, you know, uh, labor shortages, uh, 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 issues with with trucking. We're all being hit on that. It's not something that's just held liable for, held held down at PETA. It's every single concept, every single chain, every single mom and pop shop is dealing with the same issues we're dealing with, guys. So just know that my job every single day is, is to get up and fight to maintain and sustain the prices we're at and not keep the price going up. And and I have been doing that to the best of my ability. One thing that I cannot control is the paper and chemical plastics for you guys. So please make sure that you understand that this is something that's out of my um, wheelhouse and I cannot control nobody can control because a lot of that product comes from overseas so just a heads up on that but just know that PETA that you know uh, as a company you know we are fighting for your proteins your sauces every single day to stay and even maybe even get better and hopefully with this new uh, uh, US foods partnership in terms of us uh, becoming um, a national account things will get better for us down the road uh, what else? I think that's that's about it for today. I'm going to keep the video as short as possible. I want to thank you guys for being a part of PETA. I want to thank you guys for understanding. I want to thank you guys for fighting and staying open during the pandemic and continuing your support. And, and I'm here. I'm here to listen. I'm here to talk. Um, you know, I know some of you guys are frustrated. Some of you guys, you know, might see other aspects of the business that could change. But just know we're getting hit from all angles. And all we can do is, is try to sustain, survive, and continue to push forward, and things will get better. March is going to be a great month for us. I know that. Um, technically, it's the best March month of the year, the past 10 years or so, the business. Uh, we should see a catering kick up. So 
Um, hang in there. Things will get better. And uh, good luck to everybody.